No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. But f okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <coughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, here. I got him. And I'll uh, send you his fight. position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. See you, Lynch man. Infirmary today, man. Addie said she'd heard enough of my whining that it'll last her a lifetime. Sounds like Addie. How's the arm? You know, about 50% there. Sorry. I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah, that's what Addie said. And anyway, I I gotta get going. Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Gonna see if I can uh, pay off the damn pay meds that Addy has me on. Later. Later. Hey, someone's here. Mm, one of the drifters. Hey, man. Having a look. Is that okay? 
All right, I got you. Sure, all right. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, what's up, man? How's life? Ah, got it. All right, later, man. Hey, uh, how's it going? Hey, Blair. Uh, good choice. All right. Hey, see ya. Looking to buy, I hope. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Here. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you.
Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Willamette Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I, Jesus? You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no, no, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, it looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Scrap. No, 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 no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? 
Well, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Okay. You... Hmm. you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. <laughs> up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pen stuff. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. <laughs> Nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Yep, that did it. Ha ha! You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat up. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom? 
I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cabinet. Here, boost me up. Okay, okay got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. I'm the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Light her up. Burn it down. Ready? Oh, yeah. Good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes. Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, um... You never mentioned him before, so I'm, you know I'm sorry if I if it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Come on, we gotta get moving.
Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Deke, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Deke. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Sure it's them. I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. Can we try that again? Get too far away from Carlos, do you? We just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? You can all just go straight to hell! Oh yeah, nice and low down there for you, huh? who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, wow. 
bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh, Yeah, yeah, okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this, by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club, the, uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember Boozer talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... The 
Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So what are you gonna do? Well, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain and get his bike and put him back here. That's a long way to go on foot. Figure something out. Are you, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Geeking out. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. 
Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I, I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I almost got caught. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of meeting us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't catch her name.
Ricky, you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seats were. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. you track down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike. I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. <laughs> Why don't you give him to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. Boost, are you there? Yeah. Dude. How you doing, brother? As always. Still out there chasing choppers. Yeah. Figure out what the hell they're up to yet. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here. We're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. Deacon, when you get time, swing by the camp. A job's come up. Ricky, yeah. Okay, I'll be by. St. John out. Doesn't look too bad. Good.
need something? Paid. Having a look. Is that okay? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Later. How's it going? Hey, how's life? Shit, someone needs help. I'm coming. You want to die out here? Look, there's a camp. Camp? Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. I, 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 was, I was done for. Holy shit! You know? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell him it was Deacon, Deacon St. John. Keep your head down and run.
nothing like scrap. Might be useful. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait. What? You're welcome, Dean. Ricky what out. You, you got a problem? Hey there. What's going on, Blair? Yep. Uh, good choice. Um, okay. Okay, then. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, man. Hey, you. Uh, looking for some camp credits, yeah? See ya. Looking to buy, I hope. Let me get the gate. St. John. 
Mark Copeland and Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. Well, my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. So they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a head scratcher? Look, Cope, this is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one the loser used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was a loser's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvaged. Salvaged. No, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to the loser? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. Shane John out. Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go, open up. Open the gate. It's that drifter. Yeah, I know him. Hey, Deke. Manny. I lived in this hey. town called Sisters, What's up? Outside of Farewell. I was home. I'm sick as hell. What do you need? Fever. I tried calling my wife at work. Just got a busy signal. Then I heard the chopper fly by overhead. What? Not enough credits? Nero. I'll be here if they were warning everyone to stay indoors. We heard they were setting up quarantine zones. I thought it was only Portland. That's all I got today. The mobs had already started rioting. Deacon. Hey. Hey, we're seeing you around more. Hey, Manny. Yep, always needing fuel. Drifter life. Cool. Need anything else? Good choice, man. Good choice. This should last you for a while. Should have more stuff later. See you around, D. Let's see. That should do it.
This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break so that you could buy one. I gotta finish buy burning out this infestation. Bye, bye, bye. Always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that. All to feed the beast of grass commercial. You want something so to the last? Hey, you couldn't go overseas, no. Nope. You need real hard working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. How's that, huh? In the same hands that built this country. They'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends. But they do not. Pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. Ain't nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism, hell! I could use a new bike right about now! Hey, let me in. Open the gate. He's been around before. I can fix this. That'll hold. Bet you're here for your bike, right? Can I help you? Deke, you have a ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo. Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman, to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt. Oh, Maria. Right? Oh, Jesus. Sasshole. Limbo. He's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and, uh... I'll handle it. I thought you might. What can I get for you? We got gas if you need it. <sighs> Stuff's getting scarce. Come back soon. See ya. Hey, 
Hold on. Hey, watch it. Tuck, I'm here, and yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. You said his face was scarred, so, uh, I mean, more, please? What else can you tell me? How's it going? He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn leprechaun. You bring me his tire iron, Deacon St. John, and I want it covered in what's left of the son of a bitch's face. Now you hear you. Uh, St. John out. Got old iron tooth on you, yeah? Start looking. Get him! 
I'll just take these. It's not going anywhere. I see him! Good night.
my fuel. Find that son of a bitch. Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ah, nice work. Deke, you are always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits. <laughs> 